Thank you to Fabric Mart for gifting us the fabric for this project. So this video is going to show you how I do my personal pattern testing process before I send the final pattern to my pattern testers. If you're interested in being a pattern tester, there's a link to the Discord down below. I'm going to be doing a lot more pattern tests this year, and I'm so excited! Good morning. Welcome to Patterning with Marty, where she severely underestimated how many pages 64 pages would be. Um, I don't think I have a room in my house where I can actually lay this out. If all of these patterns work, I don't think they will, but if all of them work, then I'm going to start grading my gridded patterns. Good morning. So I have three leggings and three like sports bra workout top thing. Test. I'm so excited. This is my fabric. Neon yellow, neon orange, and a light blue because I needed something else. I figured because these are mock-ups it's not that big of a deal if like I have horrible fabric. <laughs> I also have a feeling that I'm going to absolutely love these neon colors. And everything is cut. I ended up only cutting two of the leggings. So like one is right there and the other one's right there. Right there. So I did absolutely zero filming today, but let me show you what we got done. Um, so I had very successful pattern tests today. I also like, <laughs> this is applesauce. We don't need to get into how that happened. Um, but let me put Joe on Claire and then I'll talk to you guys about these patterns. I'm so excited. Okay, so that applesauce is like worse than I thought. But this is the basic set for like the bottoms and the top. So it's just your standard sports bra, standard racer back. Okay, so we'll ignore like my terrible sewing right here. I need to fix it. Um, but I do think I want to offer this V cross shape waistband along with a straight across that will be on the other pair. The legging patterns, absolutely great. Like one test and they're good. The tops though, <laughs> Um, I'm gonna have to do, run at least one more test on the tops because they're too big, um, mostly in the straps. Like, I want to take maybe four inches out, three, four inches, whatever that is. Anyway, um, I need to do another test run on the, this top and the next one. Okay, first off, I made the elastic in this way too small and it needs like another couple inches in it so if I uh looks like I'm really sucked in it's because I am but I really like this top I love this like double strap detail and then you still have the racer back kind of fit in the back um but it's like I don't know it's cute I like it we also have like the side panel we have the pocket. It's like big enough for my phone. I had to go find my phone so I could like show you. Look, wonderfully big. I was talking to, I think one of my pattern testers, someone on the Discord, about putting pockets in leggings. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, like it needs to be for more than just like chapstick. And I was like, if you can't put your phone in it, it's not a pocket. <laughs> This top does fit a little bit better. Um, I would still, I think, like to shorten the straps. Uh, probably about like the same three-ish inches. Um, but I also want to take some out of this side seam on both of them, actually. Okay, so this is the second test of this top. I am absolutely in love. Um, I took what I needed to out of the sides. It feels more supportive. Like, the straps are just better. Like, all around. Like, this one fits much better than the other. Um, I also love that it's a solid color. So you can see the back is looking good. I like how these are further over and not, like, going straight down. 
um, and how it makes these straps a little bit more wide set. But overall, um, I love this top. I will probably keep wearing it the rest of the day because it is super comfy. Did I do an update? I forget. Um, this is the basic top. I am absolutely loving how it fits. Um, it does have a lot of compression, which I kind of like, especially when I do like high impact activities like running. Um, I also put on the leggings. I need to figure out how to sew this part. I'm going to put some thought into this before I make the final, but I'm not happy with the way this waistband fits. This is the back. So it's just your like standard racer back. Can we also like appreciate how this like shapes my waist? I mean, I've always like figured I have a decent like hourglasses shape, but like this, this is new. So between that original pattern test and what I'm going to be doing in the next few clips, not only have I moved across the country, I have also switched patterning programs, which is why I reprinted all of the patterns because I wanted to make sure that like the new program didn't mess things up too much. I almost think I could Tetris this better, but I don't think I'm going to try. Remember when you told me Something and you said you're done pretending that fate is patient. Go run away, get it out of your system. Come back when you're older. Go find a place where you can't be the victim. And come back when you're older. Go catch the storm within. Okay, so I finished these, but I don't like how loose they are at the bottom, so I'm gonna have to like take them in, which is fine. That's not too bad, but they like, they look good from like, there <laughs> up. The reason how come I think that those leggings were a little bit baggy were a printing error because I was unfamiliar with the printer settings, not a patterning error because I did go back and check final measurements in my pattern and if it would have printed the way I wanted it to, it would have been perfect. I did one leg on the color blocked pair and they fit better. Um, I just want to take like the entire leg in by a seam allowance, two seam allowances on either side of the color block panel. I, I like a little bit of compression in my leggings. And you feel that this is your beginning will come. But it's okay, there is good in changes. Go run away, get it out of your system. Come back when you're older. Go find a place where you can't be the victim. And come back. But I do like super high-waisted things. The thing is, I know my body type, right? My waist is about two inches higher than the average person's. So making this into a sellable pattern means that it's basically gonna go up to <laughs> the under bust line on like normal proportion people, right? But that's also an easy fix because I think I could just make the length measurement like a couple inches shorter. The next step in this adventure is to do a photo shoot. It is currently freezing cold outside. Like I found deer in the pasture yesterday. So I think I'm going to find a room in this house with enough space. I think the downstairs living room is gonna be my bet. I'm gonna get dressed. Um, we are going to show off all of these leggings. Not that top that I made because ended up really not liking it. I'm gonna have to remake it. Also like what am I gonna do with my hair? I haven't found my makeup since the move so like that's not gonna be a thing. Apparently I also don't know where my clicker ended up so taking these photos is going to be fun. 
Go run away, get it out of your system. Come back when you're older. Go find a place where you can't be the victim. And come back when you're older. And there you have it. That is the finished footage for showing off the leggings, I guess. Um, I do have a little bit of the pink left over. I think I'm going to use the same pattern I made to make this top to make a pink one. That way I have something a little bit more interchangeable and I am continuously adding to my athletic wardrobe. I should probably start working out. Well, it is a new year.